for it. I hear someone, miss, someone made a 40? Yeah, I'm believing it was uh, Rick with Ace King. Rick, Rack, Paddywhack. Oh, oh, he's going to yeah. get it done. I'm going to ruin that Rick right now. He shows the real deal. Keith is looking like a straight up true poker player right now. Get the hood up. Get the get the whole pose going. Do you think the rim is big enough? Mike Wallace. Well, open mouth insert. But something. Yeah, we were out on break. Keith asked me uh, about that hand where he had the pocket nines. Did you tell him the truth? No, I didn't ask. I didn't tell him what happened. He's asked. Like, he asked what I thought. He said, would you have folded there? I said, well, I couldn't have put that much money in pre-flop and then folded on a seven-high board. Thanks for the follow, my man. Thank you for the follow, Scorber. No, no, I would never tell him what he had till after the game's over. All these follows make me feel so warm and fuzzy on the inside. Four players. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Rudy's got the top pair in a gutter ball okay. draw. Mike's got the top pair with the big kicker. Poker Pete got a gut shot. Oh, yeah, I didn't Third. see that one. Ew. Mike doesn't mess around when he flops top pair, does he? Say what now? He doesn't mess around too much when he flops no. top pair. There's no goofing about. Doesn't try to get tricky with it. He just bets it. Are you looking for the deuce or the three? <laughs> no, he's just looking for the deuce Sweat. or an ace. It's actually a girl. <laughs> <laughs> or a queen or a king, actually. As you can see, all of his outs yeah, are listed yeah. at the top of the screen. 65. <laughs> Coming out strong. That's a that's a tough call. Tough, tough call. Yeah, Rudy's kind of stubborn, though. These, these are the hands that just get you in so much trouble. you got to be able sometimes to get away from that ace rag if you're calling mm -hmm. pre-flop raises and only flop, you know. You were mm -hmm. Top pair with no kicker. Big decision for Rudy. He's had a pretty good night, and I think that's in the, in his thought process. Like, because I'm a winning player right now, do I really want to yeah, donate? That's a, that's a good fold. That's a good fold. Team Rudy, how do you guys feel about that fold? It's a pretty good fold by Rudy. I, I'm not even sure I'd call the pre the flop bet with just ace three. Oh, I would peel one for sure. Would you? Yeah. Even though it was pretty it, steep. It, it was a big bet. So, folks, as you can see by the graphic on our screen, we have a little surprise for everyone next week. We'll be interviewing the producer of this movie, Bet Ray's Fold, the story of online poker. His name is Jay Rosencrantz. We're going to talk to him via Skype. 
hope you guys all tune in for that because it's going to be a great interview. I'm, I know I'm super excited to talk to him. Uh, I can't wait to hear what he's got to say. I mean, he's an icon in my mind. Like he, he came up through the ranks in you know, 06, 07, where he was playing the highest stakes imaginable. Yeah, he was on a show they, wow. they used to have two, two months, two million. He was, yeah. I love that show. He used to be the king of England. <laughs> he kind of did. Yeah, yeah, he was. Here we hear a culture club. 22. If you guys want to watch the movie Bet Race Fold, you can go to the website and purchase it for about $12, I believe. I'm sure Jay would appreciate that. But next week, we will just have the interview with Jay, talking all about the movie, what it was like filming it, all that good stuff. Oh, we got some uh, interesting things going on here. I, I'm pretty much guaranteeing you won't see a diamond flush. Doesn't look like it. But four is raised to 22. Tens called the 22. And Pete folded ace jack suited. Wow. Oh, and threes just kicked it in too. We haven't seen a real cooler flop all night, have we? Heads up. Oh, and the threes would have flopped a full house. Okay. Whoever had threes is kicking themselves right now. 30. Rick bets 30. Well, while this hand's going on, we would like to thank the Poker Clueless for the donation, our first donation of our new show. So thank you so much for being the first one. We can't even, even begin to express how much that means to us. All the followers, all the future donations, we appreciate it so much. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, see if we can get Bobby to get his information for us, and uh, we'll be sending him a poker on air hat. Thank you again, the Poker Clueless. We appreciate your follow and your donation. But well, speaking of our hats, though, we will eventually down the line have some of our apparel on sale on our site, pokeronair.com. So check back there frequently and see what, what new stuff we have out there. I have a hat. Paul has a hat. You can get a hat like ours. We have different colors. You know, It's going to be great. We're even looking into getting some of our uh, Rubber City Poker uh, logo put on some hats and shirts and stuff. I'll, heck, I'll, I'll sign a picture of myself if you guys want it. No. Or I'll sign a picture of Paul. We may even uh, bring Suited Dan in here. and uh, I believe we can get some Suited Dan uh, autograph pictures. Sure. They're available online, I believe. So, thank you, Bomba8, for following. So, what's going on here? So, Rick checks, and now Bradley is putting himself in a cage and trying to decide if he should bet or not? Yeah, he was deciding how much to bet. Rick bet the flop. Brad called. I feel like Brad taking so long. I think if I'm Rick, I'm more inclined to call here. Somebody's going town on a Slurpee at time. Like. <laughs> you know, we gave away a hat tonight, but uh, every week we're going to be giving away something. Just want to let everybody know, stay tuned. We'll have some sort of uh, contest or something to give away uh, some sort of prize to our viewers. So we like you guys. We appreciate you guys sticking around with us, enjoying our stream. And we want to keep you watching. Nick, yeah, every week we'll be here. Oh, he makes the call. B -b 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 -bink. Oh my gosh, oh. he did. Oh, this game is brutal. Oh my gosh. This game is brutal. I wish you guys could see my reaction. I about just fell out of my chair. Like, I can't believe he binked that. I mean, Bradley Smith doesn't have a ton right now. I mean, he has a pair of tens on a on a on a board like this. 
but the fact that Rick just oh, all in and call. And Brad, uh, Brad's just like one of them nights. Oh, so sick. This is why we have whole cards. Oh, this is so dill. Oh. What I tell you? I feel like I need to take like a long shower to get rid of that. That was just so brutal. I told you, I, <laughs> poker is the most brutal game in the world. Yeah, I think it just took took over over golf there. That is how you be. That's how you can become a big winner. That just make this. You know, you got two outs. Two outer on the river. Oh. As they say, MBD. Oh, Poor Brad. He folds a winner, which was a pretty good sized pot. Oh yeah, I and forgot then, about and that. Then, and, he and then he gets two outer. But Ooh. hey, he did get a cookie out of it. That's true. A chocolate covered Oreo, no less. Yeah. From I, I think sweet. it turned out to be about a three hundred dollar cookie. <laughs> I. It was good. It was really good cookie. Oh, the but best. I don't think it was a three hundred dollar cookie. Hey, chat. Are you guys are you guys intrigued by the prospect of trying your own cookie? Go to notablysweet.com, order yourself a batch, and then you can come back next Tuesday. And let us know how they taste it. You got a firefighter sticker on your car too, so he may keep your car inside. Oh, mine. okay. <laughs> And don't go to forget to go to PokerFitness.tv to check out our uh, yoga videos to help your poker game. Not to mention, as well, our Facebook page, Poker On Air. Search for us, find us, share us, like us. Let's get the word out. Let's get this stream as big as possible. And, uh, you know, sky's the limit for us. I hate PLO. Uh, it's going to vary. Uh, we're going to get two five games every now and again. We might have a PLO game every now and again, which I see you hate. <laughs> Even though you're a follower, thank you so much. Uh, we might have sit and go sometimes. We might even play other mixed games just to keep it uh, exciting and, and new. I tell you, I'm not a big PLO fan myself, but it is an action game. Yeah, it's not boring. And I think for the most part, people don't know how to play. So if we get some players in here that do know how to play, right. it could be really, really interesting to see how they dominate the game. I'll tell you, the last time I was at the casino, I was sitting right next to a 1-2 PLO table. And there must have been $8,000 on the table. Oh, oh those, I mean, they get really, really deep. <laughs> I mean, guys were busting, buying back in for... 300 and getting it all in that hand. Sure. I mean, once you once you get so deep, it's almost uh, counterintuitive to even buy in for 300. I mean, obviously, you can you can double up super easy, but when you're facing the guys that sit there with like two grand in front of them, yeah, your 300 bucks looks like a sack of pennies. Five players. Yeah, two lip sniper. We we won't go too high stakes. I mean, we'll we'll do. Normal stuff, what you see in your casino. Sure. You know, some 1 2, some 2 5, maybe 5 10 down the line, some PLO, some Sorry, sit and goes. Basic run of the mill stuff that you would see at any of your, your local brick and mortar places. So, Rick and Keith both smacking their ace here. You got to remember, these are just uh, everyday working people here. So, three four $400 is quite a bit of money to most of them. Heads up, guys. No chop yet. So Keith has to shove this, right? Hopkins on a rick. I haven't decided yeah. what he's up to yet. He's but. not going to fold, though. For only 43 more. Oh, no. I don't think. I'm just trying to figure out if Rick's going to end up paying him off or not. I mean, the... Yeah, he snap called him. Odds are this is gonna be a child. Oh, he gets there with the straight. With that was a good river card for Keith. He wasn't mad about it. No. 
I'm excited to see though in the chat right now. I see a lot of people that weren't here in the beginning, so a lot of people were joining us late. Thank you so much for joining us and sticking around. Uh, we'll think we'll have another about 20 minutes or so of play before we call it a night. Most used to be but thank you everyone for all the follows and all the well wishes. I pre we again we appreciate every comment you make. I'm sitting here with the screen in front of me, watching everything you guys say. You guys have been cracking me up all night. I'm glad we could put out a project for you guys to enjoy. <laughs> yeah, also keep those comments coming. Anything you want to see, not, anything you think we could change, do a little better, let us know. We're, we'll try and do whatever we can to make it a better experience for you. Yeah. You guys into go-karting? Because I know a place that's called High Voltage Indoor Karting. Well, These cars are imported from Italy. Yes, Italy to America. Just to make you go fast around a track at breakneck speeds. It's amazing. I've seen these cars in person. I can't wait to get in one. Their opening day is on March, March 9th, 9th, next Monday. So it's uh, located in Medina, Ohio on 333 Foundry Street. So hop on down there, enjoy some go kart action, and uh, tell us about it. Let me know what you think about it. You can check them out at highvoltagekarting.com. We're not going to see like a queen burger, are we? I'm not sure why I call cars burgers. I think I'm hungry. Yeah, no, I don't think she's going to call them. I'll tell you what. I'm going to step out here for a minute and let uh, Suited Dan sit down. He wants to get in here and talk about the game a little bit. He's another avid poker player. He spends all of his time at the casino grinding on the regular making that money to get tattoos to say suited Dan on his arm but Dan will be a part of our three man crew starting next week so we'll alternate in and out sometimes it'll be three of us sometimes two hello twitch fans this is suited Dan here Look at that. Listen to that voice. That is... It's lovely. That is silky. As it is, uh... It's the Barry White. I have a cold. Oh. This isn't your regular voice? No, I can't wait till all the people on Twitch see me and see how just exactly twins we are. <laughs> Practically the same guy. Oh, it's like... It's like... It's like looking in a mirror. Every time we're in public, they're like, You guys twins? You guys twins? Mm -hmm. All the time, we get that everywhere we go. We're like, no. I mean, I mean, we look a little bit alike, but I mean, we're not twins. Hey, come on. What is this microphone stand? We don't need that. No, we're, we're getting up close and personal. All right, so Tammy's got King Jack suited. Rick's got two Jacks. Rick's got some Jacks. Jack Oh. That's bad. That's bad for the Jacks. Well, it's not too good, but if I know Rick, he's going to throw some money at it. Watching our delay on our on our Twitch stream is really funny. <laughs> Hello, Twitch people. So you're like from the future now. Why? Because we have a delay. What'd they say? 60? Yeah, I don't know. They said we're awesome. I am awesome. You gotta rock the suit, guys. Dress to impress. It's late night, Tuesday night in Akron, Ohio. That means it's Rubber City Poker Night. So Rick makes it 30... Tammy makes it 60. I think Rick should probably know, you know the gig is up right now. But Tammy, Tammy could also do this with a three. Like she's really capable of just blasting away, thinking, just thinking Rick has absolutely nothing. Hang on, they're rearranging the studio here. I will not hang for anything. I'm gonna keep talking about this hand. So Rick, I mean Rick is our biggest winner tonight. He's got money to burn. So if he thinks Tammy doesn't have anything. He could put in another raise here. Um, the fact that she doubled it, I don't. I mean, she just doesn't do that. Right, but how, how often do you see two cards hit the same, hit the flop, and your odds are well, the odds of this guy having one of those cards is pretty slim. So I think I always take a pop at it just to see where I'm at in the hand. But she re-raised. She re-raised, I mean, I mean, but made thirty, and she's she has clicked it back. And she hasn't made too many moves like that throughout the evening. Yeah. So he's got to he's got to put her on a king. When people click it back live. I just think it's like always the nuts. Like I always assume like they don't understand like 
actual pure betting. So they just click it back just because, oh, I want to raise, but I don't want to raise too much and scare them away, so they just min raise it back. So I think it's usually, most of the time, is basically you know the nutter butters. Right, but he also has the chips that he might just want to see another card for 30 bucks. The only problem is he's basically drawing dead. I wish I mean I wish he's like open up the top of his head and jump in and figure out what he's thinking right now. Did you tell everybody about the big surprise next week? Yeah, we yeah we mentioned it. Yeah, we yeah, yeah we, 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 dropped we, the, we dropped the surprise. Do we have some excitement? We, I think I think people cared. Yeah, I think I, I, think. I care. Well, you're gonna be there. You're gonna be uh, you're gonna be part of the part of the gig. I always care. Suit Dan cares. Sorry for Paul Boston walking across our shop. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> just just go wherever you need in, to go. In case you guys were wondering what a full body Paul Boston looked like, you just got a quick glimpse. If you internet people would like to know what a full body looks like, I mean, just view this. Yeah, you guys are like, uh, like Guinness, full bodied beers. I am. I feel kind of like Guinness. Even Tammy thought that was funny. Wait, she can hear us? I think so. Maybe. What was the verdict on uh, Darren's glasses? I don't think I, I missed Glassgate. Hashtag Glassgate. Join the conversation this evening. Everyone, everyone really, they couldn't. Yeah, everyone thought everyone thought Paul warmed the best. Paul warmed the best. Yeah, that was, that was. I think E News even chimed in and they said that he looked better out of everybody. You guys can't see, but off camera, Paul is actually raising uh, the roof. I did see that somebody asked if he was a farmer. <laughs> With that mustache, I mean, you would think so. Tammy is kind of like me. She loves those suited connected cards and will play them all the time. That's why we, we call thing. you Suited Dan, right? Come on, Rudy. I've heard that name before. Join the party. <laughs> Six players. Check. He's got Check. the best. Check. He's got the best. Is King Four in the lead right now? What is going on? Yeah, I think King High. Yeah. He's got oh, a pair, of pair of fours. fours. Yeah, a pair of fours is our is our chip is our sorry percent leader. I feel like such a dingaling when like we have so many people in the hand and I'm trying to figure out who flopped the right. best. Like my eyes just scanning down the whole. Yeah, it's kind of like playing bingo. You just gotta look. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's, it's like throwing darts at a board. Who's got the best? Especially when no one really hits, like mid pair hits. Yeah. I guess Darren's got up and down. Now, Team Rudy, you guys getting pumped? You got two pair now. Rudy's been a fan favorite this evening. Oh, everyone just hearts him. Just hearts on hearts. It's like Cupid shot his arrow into the chat room, and they all fell in love with Rudy. Six or eight, one time. So Darren, Darren does the, uh, Darren does the call. Go ahead. We got a eight. Think we'll, ever, think we'll ever run it more than once. We got Probably an eight. Not, right? We got an eight something on the river. I don't think it kicked through, but it looked like there was an eight. So. Well, I guess it wasn't an ace or six, right? right. Darren took a miss. Rudy rakes another pot, fans. So, everyone out there, at Twitch, we do want to welcome you to our family. Um, this is my good friend Trevor. Um, you've been listening to him all night, and my other buddy Paul Boston. I think I've been talking so long, I might just be talking in my sleep tonight, which is not bad. I have, I have been enjoying this so much. This has been an amazing time, meeting all of our new followers, you know, trying to build this relationship week after week, growing our followers, and just making this show as best as possible. Oh, and if you absolutely, if you guys are enjoying the conversation tonight, if you're enjoying the interaction between us and you, and if you're enjoying the poker player playing here in the poker penthouse in downtown Akron, Ohio, we, we invite you to come back week over week. We'll have a new cast of characters. We will. We'll have a couple of standbys, a couple, uh, couple notable guys. We may even we may even put a list up there and let you once you get to know some of our local celebs, quote unquote. We'll allow you guys to pick and choose who you'd like to see. I think it's a fabulous idea. Did you just make that up just now? You're I'm, so smart. I'm a genius. You are just too smart for your own good. I'm excited because next week I'm going to get a little more time here on the desk with Trevor. Um, I just did want to stop in this last segment to say hello and introduce myself and, and get to know you guys as well. Let's see. Uh, gut shot for Keith with a plus draw. Pete actually flops a straight. 
right? Is that yeah. straight? Am I it's, counting correctly? Yeah. It's okay. yeah, but Keith's got the advantage because he's got the club too. <laughs> I wonder if uh. We'll see how Pete plays this. I mean, Pete has obviously showed he's a pretty smart player. It's Keith with like the little hood thing, isn't it? Like so, nineteen two thousand. I think it's one of those things where it just it's coming back in fashion. Keith just got a little bit bigger on his straight. No, he just yeah. No, no. straight yet. Sorry, folks. And there's a check raised by Pete. It's 40. the it's the cold medicine. I was gonna say you're pretty hopped up on some stuff right now. <laughs> Everyone says my microphone is blurry. Am I being too loud? My apologies. You sound good to me. Even with your cold. So I went check, bet, raise, call. Now I'm jacking the river. And I think Pete's going to try to get some value out of this. Even though Keith has complete air ball. Well, there's no way he's calling here. I mean, he, he was chasing all the way down, and he missed, missed. It's time to go home. This option is ship or fold. And Pete rakes another one. So it sounds, from what I've watched tonight, um, Rick and Pete are probably the, the top two players uh, this Ru evening. Rudy, Rudy's probably not too far behind. I mean, oh. he started with only 160, and he's, they had no problem looks like he's right around 400 right now. Yeah, and I know he's been, he's, I want to know why why, uh, why the fans think that Rudy's a... Uh, I think they just know he's one tough he's SOB. You think that's what it is? <laughs> sure. <laughs> there was some nice camera. smile. Who can turn that smile down? It's like a politician. Moss <laughs> I don't know. I I think we had a great mix tonight. I think uh, I think Rick and Pete and Tammy actually. I think they kind of made for some interesting dynamics. Yes. Mixed with the other players. I think we only got about. Eight or nine more minutes left on our broadcast tonight. We are gonna we maybe are gonna a end little the less. game. So maybe we have a couple couple hands here. But uh, we most definitely will be back next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Especially with our and every Tuesday after that. But next oh. week is special, Trevor. Why is it so special? Please Just tell everybody once again. Because we have a terrific interview via Skype with the one, oh. the only Jay Rosencrantz. Awesome. He's an awesome dude. He's an awesome player. Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, a little intimidated, but hey, you're gonna help me through it, right? I'm I'm gonna be there for you, sir. You're gonna be my left hand man. I'm hoping that there's no cold. I'm hoping that, that you know I don't want to get Jay sick over Skype. No, you never. <laughs> That'd be one strong virus. You guys are funny in the chat. I like you guys. I'm gonna invite y'all over for a party. There's a nice close-up for you guys for Team Rudy. I like that over-the-shoulder dealer camera. Our camera operator, Len Brown, doing a fantastic job. Looks like a conehead. <laughs> France, I come from France. Did she just call someone an MFR? I I don't know. Tammy like, holds a big Shirley. What's a big Shirley? Four six offseat. How do you know these things? I just I just know. I'm smart. I'm a smart player. Oh, is that what it is? Right. <laughs> I think I'm being mooned off camera by somebody, but hey. Drop and trowel. That stuff happens here in the River City studio. Suit guy's name is uh is Trevor, by the way. Some call me T Dot. If you wanna, folks, 
We'll be more than happy. If you tell them about your Twitter handle, so they can get in touch yeah, with you. No, you guys want to follow me on Twitter? You can follow me Check on me Twitter at, too. Uh, at t dot one five one two. I would love to follow. I'll keep you guys all updated with everything. Same here. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it is at suited Dan. Or sweeted, however you want to pronounce it. Or sweeted if you're Swedish. But that's suited Dan. <laughs> Even though I didn't wear a suit tonight. I know, it's kind of confusing because Trevor's got a suit on and I don't have a suit on, but I'm suited, Dan. But the logic will flow with you. I just roll out of bed like this. This is just natural for me. These chatters are making me giddy. You know, we've we've put how I mean countless hours, right? Hours into this. You know, hours upon hours. Years, you know, we 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 meet weekly to discuss like how to make a show as best as possible, and to hear you guys saying how much you like it seriously means a ton to us. Four players, check card. And to hear you say that our broadcast is uh, most excellent versus some of the other. Did you just prof- go? Did I you did. Just go I, Wayne's go, World? I went Wayne's World. <laughs> is most excellent over. <laughs> Over some of these other um, companies out here who are trying to mimic our product, um, we appreciate it because that's all we want to do. Truly, is deliver you the best in poker and on-air poker commentary and just having a good old time together on Tuesday nights. Okay. So Keith has flopped the world here. Thirty. Timmy's picked up a backdoor flush draw, and Mike has this measly little bottom pair. And I believe all three will stay in this pot. If you guys are rooting for the pain, the most painful river card would indeed be the Seven of Diamonds. Heads up. No time for Tammy to get out of there. Will she bluff? Oh, she's no, she's a. Uh, yeah, she's she's out of out of position. She's gonna fire at it. Uh, and Keith can't let this go. No. He just decided he's going to He's just seeing how much he can get out of her. She gets 20 oh. into one. Oh, my just goodness. Just flats her. Just, I mean. I think the hood's pressing on his brain. Just a little, 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 little bit. How much time? Okay, looks hand. like this next hand will be our last hand. I think we're going to do one more hand. Um, I don't know if we got any more sweet in the pot goodies to throw in there, but if we do, we could throw them in this hand. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I think after that, I should just do a flip the first axe. Oh. <laughs> Everyone gets two cards, run out or of We could do a flip just... for uh, cookies. I already got a cookie, so I'm not worried about it. I had one of those cookies earlier. They are, they are awesome. At least you didn't eat yours on air. <laughs> I, I, I noticed that. Six now. Pete, last hand wakes up a little good. Ace queen suited. Good timing. Keith likes call, it. Call, call. Everyone wants to play the last hand, so ten five comes in. Tammy comes in. Yes, yeah, see a sweet, right? Sweet demo, uh, sweet graphic players. there. If you donate, you get a really cool graphic on top of the screen. Yeah, you would think, right? And Tammy outflops everybody. The King Four is now Dude, she, in the lead. She's been running super spicy with, with I'd like say, the Wheat King. I'd say about 70 minutes ago she was going home, but that never happened. And then she's like, oh, I'm just going to sit now, right now. And now, not even does she flop top pair having the worst hand coming in, she turns two pair. Yeah, sure. Why not? Mm. All right, folks. It looks like that was the last hand of the evening. Tammy takes down the last hand. We only had four survivors left on our table tonight. I'm sorry. We lost two. So that means six minus four divided by 17 leaves us with five players. Five players. Six. Still six players. Six. Still standing at the end of the night. But all right now, we're going to sign off again. Thank you so much to everyone on Twitch. Wherever we viewed on Twitch, on PokerOnAir.com. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And we're going to see you all next Tuesday with our interview with Jay Rosencrantz and more poker action. All right, folks. We'll see you next week. For Poker on Air.
Later.